everyone. In today's vlogmas video, I wanted to film the book snob tag, which I was tagged by Deboki many, many eons ago, um, and I just never got around to it. Perfect vlogmas content. Let's answer some questions. Question number one is adaptation snob. Do you always read the book before you see the movie? It's not something that I do purposefully. Um, it's often just because the book usually comes out before the movie, and if I'm reading in real time new releases, which I am, and then they get turned into movies, I usually have already read the book before it's time to watch the movie. Though this year I did watch To All the Boys I've Loved Before and then read the book, I can't think of any other experiences this year where I watched the movie then read the book other than that one. Question number two, format snob. You can only choose one format in which to read books for the rest of your life. Which one do you choose? Physical books, ebooks, or audiobooks? Who am I? My answer is audiobooks. If you would have told me that would be my answer three years ago, I would not have believed you, but it's true. I listen to a lot of audiobooks now. Question number three is ship snob. Would you date or marry a non-reader? Um, probably. My partner really does not read as much as I do. He usually reads like on vacation or when he has a lot of free time. Usually his like hobby of choice is video games um, on his Switch or on the Xbox um, and that's like his hobby to wind down while mine is reading and it's something that we can do real nicely on the couch. I'm reading, he's playing his video games and I think it's good for you to have different hobbies than your partner. Not that he's a non-reader because he does like to read but yeah he's currently reading the Watchmen comic which is something that I read a few years ago and it's fun listening to him talk about how frustrating the formatting of that book is um, and how dense it is because truly that is my biggest qualm about Watchmen. Question number four, genre snob. You have to ditch one genre never to read again for the rest of your life. Which one do you ditch? This was a very easy question for me. Um, I would ditch science fiction or fantasy and that may hurt many of you, but it does not hurt me one bit. It's not something that I really reach for. It's not something that I enjoy reading. It's hard for me to place myself in like other worlds when our world is so fascinating to me and just like relationships between people is so fascinating to me here. I don't know, some people really like the escapism of it and um, I, I don't really care that much about science fiction or fantasy. Question number five is uber genre snob. You can only choose to read from one genre for the rest of your life. Which genre do you choose? Nonfiction is not really a genre, but uh, I'd probably do that. I do like current day topical nonfiction. There's so much being published all the time. Question number six is community snob. Which genre do you think receives the most snobbery from the bookish community? Um, I'd say romance, which is usually what people answer to this question, adult romance, or I feel like in the past couple years, just general YA has taken a beating and I feel like it's been getting from the circles that I watch and for, from the conversations that I watch, it's been getting a lot more flack and a lot more snobbery from people that are like, oh, you just read YA. And maybe it has to do with like really big YA booktubers and like how they have book deals and how they're like authors and they just make a bunch of money on their YouTube videos. I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of like backlash from that. Question number seven is snobbery recipients. Have you ever been snubbed for something that you have been reading or for reading in general? Yes. <laughs> I get a lot of weirdness whenever I'm recording like readathon videos and it used to be from my partner but he I mean he doesn't care that much but whenever his friends would hear about it or when they would hear like slang about how booktube operates or like reading lingo saying words like readathon or dnf or you know things like that they look at me kind of weird and think i'm a nerd which i am but i'd say that when i'm doing readathon vlogs and i'm recording stuff and like other people are in the room and they kind of ask questions um and it's probably why i kind of keep it to myself it's kind of my own little like place in the world and i don't tell that many people about this booktube channel as a result those are the seven questions of the book snob tag. I hope I wrote down the name of the tag right. Let's check the book snob book tag. <laughs> That's the full name of the tag. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.